Welcome to Meet and Match, digital platform of Linea Pelle Fair. We are here talking with Mr. Patrick from Beijing. Hello, Patrick. Hello, hello. Really nice meeting you today. Thank you to take part of our smart matching talks. I know you are a so famous interior designer in China. And I'm very curious to know more about your journey as a designer, you and your studio. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm an a, a, a interior designer with uh, almost a 20 years career life. And I was born in Beijing, grew up in Beijing, but with, uh, uh, how to say, so many international connections. So also our clients is also very uh, with a strong international background. So either East culture or West culture, we both of uh, them we we so familiar with them, and we have to uh, analyze and also uh, learn more and more about these two different uh, cultures. Um, but fortunately. Um, we are in a very golden age, and uh, in these 20 years, we grow up very strongly. And also, we, uh, with uh, so many connections with uh, so many high end customers in these years. Which is the design that you are uh, running in the studio? More private or more public? Uh, before, is uh, we, co we was concentrated on the private interior design. Private residence. Uh, uh, in this uh, five or to six years, because so many, uh, you know, the public area, public space, they they got strong demands for interior design. They try to build up the brand uh, unique, and also they want to create a very individual space or private space for their clients targets. Yeah, even those uh, uh, target market also with the high end, uh, you know, level people. So now this six or uh, eight years, we more also we we began to uh, made a lot of the projects for public area, public space. Uh, you mean public space like uh, hotels? Uh, exactly, or hotels, offices? yes. Uh, Great, boutique hotels, clubs, restaurants, uh, you know, food and beverage, you know, organizations, and also with some a few of the office. You know, it's some some like uh, uh, if a culture company, like uh, uh, some companies, they they involve to like cinema, films. They they want to create a very uh, unique space for 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 their staffs for their companies. So in this case, we will also build, uh, create some uh, offices like, uh, you know, with the uh, private residence exploration. How will your customer change it during the pandemic? Uh, change a lot because uh, uh, not, the, uh, not the, the age, age, also with the careers, also with the nationalities. Uh, our company was uh, built up in 1998, so at that time we more concentrating uh, long residence foreigners in Beijing. And after like five to uh, eight years, we were returning to the local market. Now we 100 percentage concentrate on the local market, and they are all comes from like uh, commercial financial people, and uh, you, you know for sure high high end still is our target market. Not only the private residence, also with the, 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 the public spaces, customer. Oh, oh, this kind of places, of course, request uh, a very specific study of materials, for sure. So yeah. what, are you, what, what are you looking now uh, in terms of searching new material, new trends or new request uh, I, I think both both hands for the traditional ways 
we keep in touch with some, uh, you know, our old connections, like uh, old vendors. They maybe they can offer like um, just like the the, the the leather, the even floor uh, decoration pieces, like uh, carpets, beautiful carpets with the traditional way, even some like wallpaper. And you know, as our concept is uh, uh, from the ceiling, from the floor, even from the, the, the wall, just a different with uh, so many uh, vendors, so many uh, connections we, we had, but we, we still want to keep some uh, old traditional uh, vendors. They can offer like a more traditional work. But uh, in this 10 years, there are so many uh, new technology, material manufacturer uh, appeared. So they offer our lot of high tech uh, materials, not only for like uh, architect design, also for the interior designs. So we also got uh, so many uh, new connections with them, even like the you know intelligent system, you know for. For uh, even for a private residence project, it will at least spend our three years to make to make it, and also more than almost hundred different vendors we need to make connections to to support this project can be successfully launched. So I think uh, keeping and. Uh, Consequently, upgrade our connections is our studio's work, and also seeking the, the new manufacturers, new vendors is also a very important work in the future. I think it's very interesting what you say because you talk about, for example, leather, which is a natural material, but you want to have also smart intelligence incorporated in in the skin. I yeah. just think I'm thinking about uh, like a smart sensors uh, injected inside of a natural material, so you can balance the, the the two the two aspects. I have a question again for you: How much sustainability is important for your customer right now? Uh, I think for the high end market. Uh, the customers be more concentrated about the how to express their lifestyle and their personal image, especially the private house, because people uh, even they want to invite the, their friends come into their new house. They want to just present the the image of their personality, so they also. Uh, uh, most of our uh, customers, they also pay more attention about the arts. You know, art uh, demands is, uh, I think, in these 10 years, the new customer, the, the stronger and stronger the demands, art pieces. So also uh, involved a lot of uh, like furniture, even carpets, even the, the, the lights, they also want some concepts with with art. Each piece is they pretty much like art pieces, not only art, real art pieces. So this is the changing. And uh, you know, even for high end customers, the the, the 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 money is not very important because they have a, a very strong consuming power. So so what the 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 what is that even the designer is have to can hundred percent is understanding what they they want what they want to present even the new money people presentation is very important things great <laughs> I, I think, think that, yeah. i i like i love so much i love so much what you said because you incorporated the art value which means pure and authentic creativity inside of the material, inside of the pieces, the manufacturer. And I do think that this is really one of the most important elements that it's related to material right now. So which means the aesthetic, 
the pattern, the technology, all mm -hmm. incorporated to keep and to design long lasting pieces. Yes, yes, for sure. And so, so in this case, additional value of this material uh, will be helpful and e either for the vendors, also for the customers. Because I, I still think that the designers are always the bridge you know, between these two, two parts. And so additional value, I think, for these two parts, also very important. You know, vendors, they, they need want to make more profit for their manufacturer goods. Okay. And yeah, even for the customer, they want to present the additional value, not only in the art piece, also with the whole space. The, the, the atmosphere, the environment, they, they want to present. So this is the additional value, I think, is the uh, um, most uh, important factors in the future. Great. I really thank so much, Patrick, because your insights were so useful for uh, material companies, creative people, and of course, for all of those people that were proposing new solution for you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Xie xie.